I was sick. They told me I wasn't. Not one doctor out of 23 could figure out what was wrong with me. I wanted an answer, and no one could give me an answer. Since its discovery in 1975, a little-known disease is sweeping the globe, an epidemic growing in the shadows, an epidemic with a frightening array of symptoms. Fever, chills, nausea, headache, muscle aches, joint aches, diarrhea, vomiting. Flu-like symptoms, Bell's palsy. Head pain and disorientation, confusion. Constipation, herpes. My GI system, my gut was a mess. I couldn't absorb any nutrients. I wasn't digesting my food. Losing sensation in my hands. We were working me up for everything under the sun. Suicide was very near to me. It wasn't, it was a planned out thought. Hashimoto with my hair falling out, brain fog and memory loss. Low metabolism, fatigue, uh, memory loss, weight gain. Within one year of, of my symptoms showing, I had to leave my, my work as a chemical plant operator and I could no longer function. Medical science offers few, if any, answers for the treatment of this disease, despite an alarming increase in the number of cases. Efforts to identify the cause of this condition have been in vain, leaving the medical community dumbfounded. Doctors will diagnose it as chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, ADHD, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, any number of different diseases. Sometimes, e even worse, is they will say that there is no disease, there is no condition, there's nothing wrong with you. We had numerous doctors tell me I was crazy and that I was just depressed and they tried to put me on more drugs. So what is this mysterious condition? It's a bacterial infection known as Lyme disease. And while many have heard of Lyme disease, few comprehend the implications. The CDC estimates that there are over 300,000 new cases of Lyme disease diagnosed each year, making it more of an epidemic than West Nile, swine flu, or even AIDS. Yet mainstream research has failed to provide effective treatment options, while countless victims continue to suffer the ravages of this devastating disease. It's a death sentence. Because Lyme disease kills people every day. Lyme disease is transmitted largely by tick bites, often leaving a rash in the shape of a bullseye. However, recent studies have shown that as many as 50% of patients will never develop this rash, while as many as 64% never remember being bitten by a tick. For many, this disease just appears, abruptly, dragging the victim into a life-altering tailspin. I was in college when I got sick, and it really just overnight changed my life. Things spun out of control, and actually very quickly, it just, my whole life began to disintegrate. I was being robbed of my life. I was 18 years old. On a trip to Puerto Rico with my family, I fell to my knees, extremely ill, and I thought, I'm going to die. I lost control of my hands and feet to the point where I could not drive. My eyesight was so horrible that I could not see. From January 1st until April 26th, I saw 23 doctors. Those doctors told me, it's all in your head. They thought I needed pain pills or wanted pain pills. I did not want pain pills. I wanted the answer. What was wrong with me? I couldn't get out of bed. One day I stayed in bed till 3 p.m. And I was a college athlete. I was on the themes list. I worked for a big four accounting firm. I was used to going, going, going. So something was just majorly off. We've had a crazy journey in the last two years. I've had to postpone taking my CPA test because my brain fog was so bad. I watched myself on my camera car back up into another car and my reflexes were just so horrible I couldn't think. I went to work last summer and I worked really hard and a lot of people around me said I don't think you should do that. It, for me I just wanted to um, push through it because I felt like I had I was a failure because I hadn't worked in two almost two years and I was out of my industry, and as I was getting older, I felt like I would never be given the opportunity again, especially being sick. So I sought out 
whatever means I possibly could, pharmaceutical means, uh, herbs, diet. For two and a half decades, I was looking for answers and I couldn't find any answers. In search of answers, most put their faith in traditional medicine for a time, long enough to acquire a realization that the allopathic solutions offer little help and even less hope. I've gone through the standard Lyme abuse that sadly most patients go through, told that it's all in your head, nothing's wrong with you, endless times. Uh, I had a pick line placed, was on a course of six months of IV antibiotics along with oral in conjunction. I had to take antibiotics four times every day and it was tearing up my stomach. It was horrible. And I still had the neurological complications. I had every symptom still. I was very ill. I think that under everything else, there is a simple but terrifying reality. We look to be saved by the pharmaceutical industry, but that's not gonna happen. 22% of the gross national product comes from pharmaceuticals. All that money comes from drugs that treat symptoms. Your pharmaceutical industry isn't gonna save you. The money isn't in health. The money's in sickness. The paradigm today is kill the symptom, give a chemical, and it's the greatest Ponzi scheme the world's ever known because if you suppress a symptom with one chemical, you will get two or three more symptoms that have to be suppressed with yet more chemicals and so on. So you see, just follow the money trail to know why we're in the system we're in today. It's not like the pharmaceutical industry is out to get you, okay? This is not a conspiracy. The fact is, is that they rely on longevity of treatment to sustain their profit model, and at a cost of $800 million to bring a drug to market, I guarantee you they can't afford a cure. It'd put them out of business. What we need is a revolution in healthcare, a new approach to the treatment of disease at the basic or causal level. Historically, the emphasis has been on money. The emphasis needs to be shifted from money to health. And until we do that, there's going to be no cure. In search of a new approach, the BX protocol was discovered and is the first effective treatment that many Lyme patients have experienced. Dr. Smith, the creator of the BX Energy Catalyst, believes that the key to understanding the protocol's success lies in understanding Lyme disease as a mitochondrial dysfunction in energy metabolism. When I sit down with a patient, I explain to them that the mitochondria are little energy powerhouses in the cell that are generating energy, the energy currency, ATP, from the oxygen we breathe and glucose. You need the mitochondria, you need the oxygen, you need the ATP in order for the body to function. It's not a matter of, you know, you have you know, cancer or you have a chronic fatigue or you have Crohn's disease, they all go back to the fact that the mitochondria are dysfunctional and the body is not getting the oxygen and the energy that it needs in order to function. The fact is, no one out there is going deep enough. Until the mitochondria are fixed, there's going to be no resolution, there's going to be no cure for disease. It's just going to be a masking of the problem. And the thing is, people are spending small fortunes on that mask. I went through 130 doctors in all so far up to this point. I've probably spent over a half a million dollars my entire life savings. I was on Santum remedies that were 100 plus dollars a shot and I was taking them two or three times a week. And I know that I spent in this whole course, I've spent easily over $100,000 trying to keep my health together and trying to keep my life together. I've seen so many Lyme patients that ask themselves, so if medical science doesn't have any answers for me, and if alternative medicine doesn't have any answers for me, and the problems are so deep within my cells that no one seems to know what to do about it, is there any hope that they're going to get better? While most in the United States feel overwhelmed by the lack of prospective treatments available, others are traveling to Panama. Mexico and Dubai, where the BX protocol is embraced as a revolutionary medical paradigm. Results from a recent pilot study demonstrate the tremendous potential of the BX for Lyme disease and other related autoimmune conditions. The study treated 14 patients with advanced chronic Lyme disease, along with several other similar conditions such as fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, and Hashimoto's disease. 
At the study's termination, a symptom rating survey covering 52 symptom categories revealed that an overall 68% reduction in symptoms was achieved. Dr. Smith admits, however, that the condition is much more complex than a single toxin as the causative agent. I've yet to meet anyone with Lyme that didn't have a boatload of co-infections, Babesia, Bartonella, uh, Mycoplasma, it's a long list. Add to that the damage associated with antibiotics or prevailing therapy, which destroy the defensive bacteria, give rise to yeast infections, significantly impairs the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood, actually induces biofilm formation, and one begins to appreciate how complex this condition really is. Another aspect of the condition, which Dr. Smith believes has gone largely unnoticed, is pleomorphism. In the field of microbiology, the concept of pleomorphism suggests that bacteria of one species might change to bacteria of another species under certain conditions, making it difficult to target an organism that is constantly adapting to its environment. If you take into account the different organisms involved in Lyme and the pleomorphic variants of each of those organisms, you can begin to comprehend why something like antibiotics is marginally effective at best in dealing with the problem because the molecular targets that they're intending to exploit vary so much from species to species that you're always left with the residual and the individuals back to where they started from, except now you have this bug that's equipped with an enhanced drug resistance. With the BX, you have the most comprehensive approach. Why? because it doesn't rely solely on eliminating every single infectious agent. Instead, it recognizes the absolute necessity of enhancing mitochondrial function to the point where the individual could become completely asymptomatic in spite of the organism. Because metabolism is like a waste incinerator to any number of toxins or microbes that simply lose their pathogenic infectious nature. They lose their ability to impact the cell. They lose their ability to impact the biological terrain at large. You want to feel better? From our perspective, you enhance mitochondrial performance. And what we're trying to do, and I don't think any other therapy is actually trying to do this, is we're trying to reestablish the cellular physiology that is dictating the health of the cell. Evidently, the BX now, by helping the oxygen get consumed at a mitochondrial level, which is the end part of oxygen for the body, if it's doing that, yes, the BX will do for very many conditions, many, many, many conditions, because basically everything is dependent upon energy production. I feel like BX is the medicine of the future because it's working at such a fundamental level of biochemistry. It's at the root of where the disease process originates. I think BX is going to present and offer a new paradigm for medical practices across the world and across the country. It's a missing link that has been bridged that will really help a lot of people cross over into better health. Uh, I went from a point where my IQ had dropped by 35 points, and now actually it's back up to higher than it was when I was in college. These are all amazing things, and these are all things because I started the BX. The BX addresses the foundational dysfunction within the cells. And that has made all the difference. Since starting the BX protocol, I am able to get back to the gym. I have so much more energy. There are so many simple things that I can do on the BX protocol that I could not do four weeks ago. Simple tasks like going up and down my staircase. I know that sounds so silly, but if you have Lyme disease, you'll get it driving down the street by myself now and knowing where I'm going. I feel like with the BX, I am more present emotionally, physically. I just feel like I'm getting my life back. I'm so excited. Uh, everyone in my life is already noticing a difference. Everyone has seen my energy level improve. It's the real deal. I don't know if BX is the 100% cure, but if it's not, it definitely is the closest thing to it. I have been so sick for the last two years, and for the first time, I feel better. And I'm working um, you know, as an anesthesiologist again, which is an absolute um, gift from heaven. I've gotten a gym pass. I've been able to walk my dog. I've been able to, you know, I'm starting my business again. I feel like my life is completely turned around and I'm healing 
and healthy and whole and I have my life back again. It's a miracle to me. Being able to feel better after being sick for longer than I can ever remember is giving me my life back. I'm out in the field doing sales, doing what I love, um, making an income again, and able to live the life of a normal 24-year-old. I have been on so many other protocols for Lyme disease. You name it, I've done it for the past two and a half years trying to get my life back. Nothing, not one thing, matches or comes close to the BX protocol. Hands down, this protocol is the protocol for Lyme disease. I got to the point that I couldn't do what I love doing anymore. And um, this is, the BX has given me my life back. One of my greatest passions in life has been motorcycle racing, and I had to give it up because of the Lyme disease. Well, since April uh, of last year, I've been able to race again. Feel it? I feel as if my life has been brought back from the abyss. This substance is just, um, you know, it will change the world. And it's just a matter of time before people learn how fantastic it, it is. I have spent my entire life looking for some way to get my life back and have spent all my time, all my energy. And I know my friends have gotten tired of hearing, you know, what's the matter with me. And now there's nothing the matter with me. When two of the most preeminent Lyme doctors in the United States came out in conferences and stated that the BX protocol was the premier treatment for Lyme disease in North America and Europe, I think that's when people started to take us seriously. I suspect that in the near future, the BX protocol will become a household name for anyone with Lyme disease. With Lyme disease, that's all we want is our lives back. It's here, I have it now. Through the use of BX, I have been able to overcome, to return, and to recapture my health. The biggest question I get from people is, does this work? Yeah, it does. <laughs>